You might remember a couple of vlogs ago, we found a $14,000 honey hole out in the middle of the outback. Well, Reese and I were buying gold from a little town that is kind of close to this spot. So we thought, fuck it, while we're up there, we'll go and see if anyone has found the honey hole for starters and we'll try and get some more gold out of it. The honey hole is definitely near a reef or is a reef. We just have to try and either find it or see what's happening. Normally we would never leave this honey hole or any patch unfinished ever, but we had to get back for work and it was getting way too hot. Now, it would be unlikely that someone has raided this, but obviously it's always a possibility. That's what we were nervous about. So let's go see if anyone's found it and if there's gold left. No one's been here. Are you all right? Can I put you on camera? Are you happy no one's been here? We're in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. We've been really fucking unlucky, but let's go get some gold. So we're on the top of the hill here. So we're on top of the hill here. This is where the honey hole is. We're gonna try and find the reef. Obviously, sorry guys, this fucking wind. I didn't think there'd be any wind today. Of course there is. I need to get better equipment. Hopefully you can still enjoy this video. We're gonna try it. We're gonna detect all around it, take all the dirt out of the honey hole, try and find the reef as well. This might actually be the reef itself, but we'll just follow it up and make sure we're not missing anything. We've also smashed the side of this hill out. If you watch my last vlog, you'll see. We had three people chaining. Um, yeah, look at the contacts. Look at the colors there. Straight, and it was all on that bank of that river. Quick fit check. Kmart, Kmart, Mac. Don't know where this is from. It's covered in sweat, so I can't read it. Wait, what? That's reef gold. Yeah. Is that ironstone? Yeah. So do you reckon this is the reef? This honey hole is the reef? Yeah. Yeah. Been here two minutes, we've only got another bit of gold. So this is the honey hole here. We've got a lot of work to do. Another bit, we've got a big area to do. So we, we originally did it with the 45, but the six is better with those smaller, it's a bit more sensitive. So been here five minutes, already on the second bit. Another piece of reef gold, two minutes in. So the reef's here, we've got all the alluvial run down the hill. We're just gonna work out the best plan to get all this reef gold out. Another bit, they're only small, but this is obviously bloody good because we've found a source. We found a reef, ironstone reef. So we'll just keep at it. It's been three minutes and we've got three bits. We're gonna have to take lots of samples too. Another bit, we're on about a bit a minute at the moment. <laughs> this is some shocking filming. Sorry, I'm trying to hold a million things. Just got another bit out to the right of it. So it's just expanded our area. It's fucking hot. It's meant to be 32. It is not 32 degrees out in that sun. Oh my God. Um, I've been going for about half an hour. Just gonna wait up what we got quicker. There's probably about four and a half grams of gold there, I reckon. So 450 bucks for half an hour. Got a lot of work to do. Signal? Yeah, but I can't get it. Oh, you ready? Yeah. Fuck. The flies. Alright, we've got a little bit here, guys. We're just going back over um, the chain lines. The chain lines are done with the 45, which is good for depth, but the 6 is getting all these really small ones. As you can see, these are right on our chain lines. And we're getting gold right where we've chained, which is not ideal, but... Did you get it? Yeah, got it. Tiny little bit. Barely see. <laughs> but if you look here, we've walked about four metres and got five grams of small shit that the 45's missed. The 45 definitely... Do you mind putting the camera on me while I'm talking? The 45 definitely has its place with the depth, but the six is a vacuum for all this small stuff. What were you going to say? I was just going to say, it's all on the chain lines. Yeah, like, look at it. So we got a lot of work cut out for us. <laughs> Using a scoop, people. We normally don't need this shit, but the stuff here is so fine, so we are. It's not in your scoop. Go over it again. No, nah, it's not in there. No. Nah. Another bit. Nice.
was just in there. Oh, I don't think you got that race. I got it. I can hear the change in it. It's just there. Yeah, you got it. Fuck, I wonder how small this is going to be. Oh my god, that is insane. What the fuck? It wouldn't be worth it if there wasn't fucking hundreds of them. Yeah. Go again, sorry? Nah. <gasps> is that it sitting right there? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Sunday. Nice and flat. Alright, so this is just under the reef where we had already chained with the 45. We've come in with the 6 and I've turned the dial all the way up. We've walked one straight line. These are all our chain lines. And we've gone bang, 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 bang. It's taken us literally 40 minutes to get from there to there. It's target after target. It's littered with fucking gold. The 45 is very good on deeper nuggets. I miss, like the 6 will miss some of them. But this is a vacuum cleaner. The bits we're getting are fucking tiny. It's like 0 0.1, 0 0.2. So we need to come back, put a chain on, and cross-chain this whole thing. We've probably got 30 bits in that straight line. It's insane, guys. Insane. Fuck, we're going to have to head back in tonight and come straight back up and just cross-chain this whole thing. We've got a lot of area to cross-chain now. now cross-chain now we know this. Sorry, this is filmed the wrong way, but this is the nugget that I bought up. It was through Leonora. I got it off a bloke up there. It's literally gorgeous. He found this without a metal detector, just walking through the bush, sitting on top of the ground. Okay, we have to hightail it out of here. Sunset is coming. We don't know this area well enough to be driving at night. We can't stay the night. It was only a quick trip, so we've got so to get out. a pretty average vlog, sorry. I actually thought I got a lot more footage than I did. A lot of the footage I got is filmed this way for my TikTok. I'm trying to navigate how to film both of them at the same time and unfortunately we had to start working really quickly because the sun was starting to go down so there's about four hours i didn't film just because i didn't have time because i had to really work hard um i wish i had a film crew pulling me around so i could just work and then they could film me but we're not quite there yet subscribe and like this video maybe we can get there guys <laughs> but um yeah we're in a bit of a rush so the actual i don't know if i made this clear at the start but the actual trip was to buy gold i had to go to leonora and leinster to buy gold Leonora I had booked in for like 8 a.m. And then the Leinster person I was buying gold off, I had booked in for like 9 p.m. because we were navigating his work and his roster. And it's a big trip for me, guys. Where we were where we were prospecting is like five hours from home. So we actually went to go buy gold, but because we were so close, we were like, oh, we might as well go check on the honey hole and try and get some more gold out. So the honey hole wasn't the priority. Now, a lot of people would say, like, why would you leave gold in the ground? We normally wouldn't do that. But it's not like millions of dollars worth of gold, guys. It's like, it paid for all the fuel and um, it showed us that we do need to do a lot more work there. Like, it was good for exploration. Um, but if worst case scenario, we come back during the winter and someone has smashed the area, we can live with that. I doubt it, though. It's pretty remote. It's pretty hard to find. Um... Yeah, so I hope that explains that a little bit better. But in the kind of four hours that I didn't film, we discovered that you saw our chain lines. We did them with a 45 and we discovered that the gold is tiny. It's very close to the surface. So the 6,000 was getting a fuck ton of gold. We thought we had smashed that area. We were so comfortable that we had done the alluvial run. We thought it was like we weren't even going to prospect it. And then as you could see, we started getting nugget after nugget on the chain lines and we were like, holy fuck, we need to do the rest of our chain lines because the 6,000 is really sensitive and getting all these tiny, tiny nuggets. So that's why I had to start working quickly. We're like, holy fuck. But basically this has proven to us that the 6,000 is really good on those small bits. We personally like to do use the 45 for depth and patch hunting, but when you're on a patch, the 6,000 is great for cleaning things up. So, also, also showed to us that we have a lot of patches that we found over the last 20 years. We're going to go take the six back to them because even the areas that we thought we smash, we've missed gold. So it was really positive for that as well. We basically convinced Dad now to go buy us a six. So that was good. Uh, so yeah, basically we kept chaining, kept chaining, kept chaining until it started to get dark and then we had to get out of there. One, I had to get out of there to get to Leinster to buy this gold. And two, we don't know the area, we're not familiar enough to like 
try and navigate it at night time. Dad had given us some very rough directions. I'm talking like go to the hall road, find the tire, turn right, find the flying crow. When you see the crow take a shit, turn left there. Like the instructions were not very good. And because it was a last minute trip, we didn't really have time to like plan food and sleeping equipment and get our whole set up there. So we didn't want to be stuck at night. We had to get out of there. We had, um, we knew on Google, um, on, ma on, ma on our maps that when we hit one of the pits, we drove around the pit and then we could find the hall road. Once we found the hall road, we were safe, but it was kind of getting to the pit because it was a lot of bush bashing. We don't drive on like normal roads out there. It's a lot, a lot of bush bashing. And Reese and I were kind of going off maps, off memory and off dad's directions, um, which is fine during the day, but it's not something we wanted to risk at night. So we basically also took a bunch of samples for the honey hole, like um, to, of, the, of the actual, it was like this decomposed clay almost. We took a bunch of that. We took a bunch of like loamy sand and then we filled it all in. Obviously we don't leave our holes. We filled it all in put it back to normal as much as we could, drove into Leinster, bought the gold, Reese fell asleep. So I drove from Leinster to Kalgoorlie, which is like four hours. We got home about 3 a.m., <laughs> which was fine. It was definitely, honey hole was here. And so we, the honey hole is clearly a reef that's kind of decomposed. And the big alluvial run is originally how we found it. We found nuggets down in the big alluvial run. You remember I was showing you that video. It's like, oh, look at the contact zones. Dad found like a 20 grammer, a couple of 17 grammers, a couple of 10 grammers. We got about $14,000 off that run in about two days. Um, we're going to go back in the winter and do the whole thing again with the 6,000. And we're going to clear some more bushes and trees and really make sure it's done. And then while we're up there, we're going to go to some of our other old patches and take the six in. Um, still got to do the panning on all this dirt and stuff. If it comes back really rich, we will kind of get a plan together then. Um, yeah, it, we don't have, basically you have to have a mining tenement to obviously start because people comment and get a digger in there. You can't do that. <laughs> We're on pending ground. Um, you can only use hand tools for starters. Um, and then we could go um, try and put an SBL on it or um, I don't even know what the lease is doing when it comes up. We could try and peg it or buy it, but that is nowhere near enough gold to warrant getting a digger into such a remote location, setting up camp because we're five hours from our house. Just doesn't warrant it. But it is a good, nice little piggy bank that we can kind of go back and get gold from knowing it's there. Obviously, the risk that we pay is that it's pending around and anyone can go access it. Um, so how much did we end up getting? A lot, a lot. We've got like over 100 tiny little bits. So I think in the end, the total weight was like just about an ounce, which is probably we'll get three grand for it. Um, so it was good. I got gold, which was my main priority because I'm doing a gold drop coming up. So I'm selling the gold and we got to pay for fuel and food and kind of figure out a plan for the honey hole. But thank you so much for watching, guys. That's not an ideal vlog. I really do know it needs to be longer. I'm just kind of trying to navigate working and filming, um, especially when there's a time crunch and Reese doesn't like to be on camera. And he was like, we're not here to fucking film, Tyler. We're here to find gold. So just navigating it all, but we'll get there slowly. I appreciate you guys being here. I love you all. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what you want to see more of. Mwah. Bye.